Rightio guys, so I'll give you guys a look where we're up to at the moment. Uh, we're making pretty good progress. This is the fourth session on this little Volkswagen Golf here. I've got my little helper down there. Sky, what are you doing? You're prepping up the bumper, but we're not painting the bumper. It's all right, you're a good little helper anyway. Um, so the bonnet is down, done with 320 grit. I've blocked that, I've also whizzed the guard as well. So it's pretty much, um, I'm gonna do the quarter panels and basically prep the blends, but I'm also gonna go over the bonnet with say 500 grit. So 320 is a little bit coarse to go on paint over. So I'll hit that with some 500 grit, hit the blends with some 800 grit and then go over the edges with a piece of 1000 grit. So, as I mentioned, we're just gonna chop it in off there. This is kind of like the whole job's kind of a bit of a freebie. Um, originally, I don't even think he was expecting me to do the quarter panels, but I'm just like, nah, let's do it. Like, he was mainly worried about the worst of it, which was the boot spoiler here and the bonnet. But um, for the sake of like, you probably can't see it in this light, but there was like a few cut throughs on that guard. Like, it's been painted before, and there was a dent on this, uh, this guard over here, so. I just decided to do them as well. Um, anyway, let's get into it. So I've got my, my lighting up here. It's actually pretty good. This one here is um, portable. Uh, apart from that, I've got this one plugged into the roof or the ceiling light. And then we've got this one here for the bench. So yeah, I mean, it's not you know the best setup, but it's not too bad. I've also got this light here if I ever sort of you know, come across a part that I need a little bit more lighting, like down low or something like that, I've got this one. But if I turn that on, you can probably see the sort of, it's like a cut through or something down here. Anyway, let's get into it. Got 500 mils of premix color. I actually bought the Spectro home. I think I mentioned that in an earlier part of the video, but um, took the Spectro home, got the reading, took it to work and found the, the closest variant. So I haven't actually sprayed it out, but it'll be fine for a blend. We're blending pretty much everywhere anyway. So I'll do these headlights as a freebie. Um, I think I've got 320 grit on there. So while it's on there, I may as well do the back section up here because that needs to be hit with 320 grit first. <coughs> Rip a little set up this thing. So as you can see, I've got enough length on the lead. That's just perfect. And then this is like automatic, so that the the extraction will turn on straight away. <coughs> Alright, that'll be right. You go on and got yourself a bit of a shadow. That's better. That's just on the lowest setting. Probably go a little bit faster than that. So, as I say before, we're not going to want to paint over the 320, but the 320 is kind of going to cut the um, the orange peel out of the primer. <clears throat> there was no repairs there, so I didn't block it. <sighs> Where's my sandpaper for the edges? That's too fine. I've just got a bit of a box of tricks there that I've accumulated over the years, so... <laughs> So it's sort of a lucky dip, just get what you can. I will eventually get like a full set of these, but like, you know, the proper proper range, but I'm slowly building up <coughs> my supplies at home. What I think I might do is prep this whole job up and then take it out of the garage um, and then clean the garage out for what it's worth. Yeah, that primer still must be t a touch on the, the fresh side because it is clogging up a little bit. It's either that or the sandpaper, but I would imagine it's probably the primer because technically I didn't actually use the right hardener for that primer. I used um, 
just what I had. So I, I used the primer from work. I asked my boss, obviously. Um, but then uh, the hardener, I just used the auto stain hardener. That's possibly why it's drying a touch slower than usual. <coughs> it's all good though. We'll make it work. Again, this is 320 grit by hand, so we're not going to want to paint over this. But it's um, the 320 grit cuts through um, all that orange peel and any primer edges that we've got. It'll cut them down nice and fast, as you can see there. And then we just go down over the top of that with the finer grades. Probably just 500, 500 on the orbital, and then 500 by hand as well. When I do my prep work, I like to do it sort of systematically, you know what I mean? Sort of start somewhere and just sort of work your way around. Don't just do a bit here and a bit there. I mean, to a certain point, it doesn't matter, but whatever. You'll figure it out. I guess you do see some of the guys that are new in the trade and they sort of, they lose themselves. Like they don't know what they have and haven't done and they're sort of a bit all over the place, but. I guess part of that just comes with experience, doesn't it, you know? Yep, we're doing well there. Um, we'll go with the next stage. These sandpapers are so good that you keep them and use them on the next job. Like, they last so long, and that's why I went for the 3M. That's a lot of money's worth. It's probably about a thousand bucks worth of sandpapers there. Um, but I don't regret it for one second. So as I say, I just put that back in there. I'll use that on the next job. Um, what are we up to now? I'm gonna have to organize this a little bit better later on, but for now, oh, that'll be right. You need the one right at the bottom, don't you? It's not gonna take much to just give that a quick buzz over. As I say, just to get rid of the, the deep scratches. Don't try and do everything with the whizzy. Just get the flat surfaces. I can do the edges by hand. I'll give the top here just a quick sand with the 500. Just where the worst of the sun damage is. But I looked at this and I decided that it didn't need any primer. So that's probably about all we're gonna need. I'll go over the rest by hand. Looking good. Nice size lead on this as well, like uh, with the vacuum side of things as well. It's not too long that you're tripping over it, but long enough to get around. <coughs> yeah, I'd just like to say a big thanks to Spray Guns Direct, and um, yeah, if you want to support the show, you can go and have a look at their website. Um, they sent out this, or this orbital sander and the vacuum. I was actually planning on paying for it, but they said, no, it's all right, we'll sponsor it to you. So, again, I'm very thankful for them. It's the least I can do is give them a bit of a shout out, you know. They've been really good for me over the years on this channel, so... Also, thanks to everyone for supporting them, because supporting them supports me. <coughs> There was a chip here somewhere I needed to sand out. Maybe I've already got it. Where I can, use rags to wipe off the dust. I'd rather fill up a rag with dust than my garage. That's one thing that's a bit different here compared to working at work. If that was work, you'd just grab your airline, bang, make a big dust dust cloud. And it doesn't matter. Alright, so next up I'm going to get a bit of 500, if I can find one. How's that? That looks alright. Hopefully you guys can see well enough up the back here. 
I actually had a guy on Instagram, he goes, oh, the same thing happened to his, I think it was like his car, his missus car. So he goes, I'm looking forward to seeing how you fix it. So hopefully this video helps some people out there. But you know, like everything, it's pretty straightforward once you know what you're doing. Turn that down slow. If this was the cheap sandpaper that we use at work, I'd, I'd already have gone through probably two discs. So you can see why I've got the good ones. I made an Instagram post recently. Cheap sandpaper is expensive, and I think it's true. It actually ends up more expensive to get the cheaper stuff sometimes. A bit of a deep sanding scratch there. It's all good, we got that. Uh, good thing I bought that light over because I saw a couple of deep scratches that I could have otherwise missed. All right, that's looking good. <coughs> just about done on that bit of 800 but it's done well got us over two blends at least better than nothing done for the whizzy down there we'll do the rest by hand and next up I'm gonna do these headlights but I might call that a prep session guys uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this raw video if you have give it a big thumbs up that's fine she wants to say goodbye to you guys bye say bye all right guys I'll see you in the next one coming out I'd like to say a big thanks to everyone for watching and if you'd like to support the channel further you're more than welcome to go over and check out some of the merchandise we've got. My personal favourite is those spray suits so they're a good quality collab branded spray suit with a gunman logo on it. There's also hats, drink coolers, hoodies and t-shirts so be sure to go over and check out the link in the description if you are interested.